Hi there folks. In this video we're gonna go through some JQ filters that deal with date and time. Let's go through this document together. Firstly from date ISO A601 is actually the same as from date filter. What it does is uh, it converts the date string to seconds since Unix Epoch. So it converts the date string to a to seconds. Okay. So let's go through with it. So let's get now, which gives you the seconds since Unix Epoch of the current time. And we're gonna use to, to date, which is um, it will convert the seconds to a date string. Okay. And then finally, we're gonna use this filter from date. What it does, it takes this date string and converts it into um, seconds again. Okay. And another thing is um, the time that we deal with here are GMT. Okay. Or UTC. They're interchangeable. Okay. They are the same. So we're dealing with GMT here. Okay. It says here to date ISO A601 is, is actually the same as to date. In fact, to date is the inverse of from date. Okay. Because what it does, it takes the second since Unix Apple and converts it into a date string. Okay. So I'll go through it again here. Now gives you the second current time in seconds. To date converts the seconds into a date string. And another point is that this this date string over here, um, not only is it GMT, but this string is actually a ISO A601 format. Okay. Uh, actually, this format we're gonna use it later. This is actually the ISO A601 format. Okay. Okay. Right. So now, as we've gone through already, I'll put current time in seconds since Unix Apple. Okay. It, it basically outputs the current time in seconds. SDRF time filter converts the seconds uh, and converts it into a date in specified format. Okay. So what's the difference between um, to date and SDRF time? The difference is that to date has no um, allowance to change the format, but STRF time can specify any format you like. Okay. So let's go through. We're gonna get current time in seconds again, and then we're gonna use the STRF time filter Sorry. with with the with the format. Which is uh, same as ISO A601 that we used earlier. What this will do will convert the seconds into a date string using this format. But basically, it will in this current form. This command over here is equivalent, equivalent to here. It uses the same format, but you change change it gives you different output okay and strf time gives you the day string in gmt time but if you want the local time um you use strf local time i live in sydney australia and if i want and um, this time over here is um says uh um april 14th um 2.44 in the morning, this is the GMT time. If I want the local time, I do STLF local time. As you can see, say it's um, 12.45 in the, in the um, noon, so it matches, yeah? Yeah, so um, 
just uh, remind, uh, reminding you again, SDR uptime converts the seconds to a date string and you can specify custom format. Okay, and if you want to output a um, date string that's a um, local time, um, local time to your um, time zone, then you use strf local time. Okay, str p time converts the date date string to an array that represents that date and time. Okay, so so here let's get um, seconds current time in seconds again. And let's use um, to date again. So what it does is uh, it it gives you the um, date string in ISO A601 format, and then we're gonna use that date string to produce a produce produce an array. Okay. We, we the Format in this um, filter over here has to match the one in strp time. Okay. So what this will do? Um, it will give you. Um, it will give you the array representation of the time. Right? Array representation of the time. Okay. So this is the year. This is zero index, so that's the month, April, day, hour, minute, seconds, and so on. Yeah. Um, what if you want to convert directly from the seconds to the array? To do that, you use GM time. Okay. So. Converge seconds since Unix epoch to an array of broken down time representation. Okay, so now we start from the beginning, we get the seconds of current time, and then if we use GM time, um, what it does is uh, it takes that seconds and converts it into an array form. Okay. This is an array form of the current time in GMT. Okay, but there's a question again. What if you want to convert it into, convert the seconds into a local time? There's a filter for that too. Let's use local time. So this this array over here is a, it's representing current time in GMT, and this out array over here is representing current time in my local Sydney Australia time. Okay. So the last one, MK time. What if you want to take the array representation produced by STRP time or GM time and convert it back into seconds since Unix Apple? So I'll say it again. What if you want to take the array and convert it, convert it back into seconds? You use MK time. Okay. So you do get the seconds, current time in seconds again. Let's use GM time to convert it into an array. Okay. And then use MK time. What, we'll, what this will do, it will take the array and convert it back into seconds. Okay. MK time is, is useful because if you want to do some useful operations, Sometimes, um, many times you need to convert it back into its um, seconds form. For example, if I want to get, um, if I want to get the date string from here, you have to use strf time. Okay. What this will do, it will end up giving um, date string of um, GMT right I could also do STLF local time to get the current time okay 
if I want the array, I still need mk time because you need to begin from the seconds. So converting into seconds is very useful. If you want the um, so if you want the um, array form, you can use strp time. Okay, sorry, not the strp time. You have to use gm time. So if you use gm time again, right? It will, it will take in the array form, convert it back into seconds. Sorry, sorry. It will take detect the seconds and then convert it back into array. Okay. If I want the local time representation represented by the array, you use the local time. Okay, so 2022 April 14, 1251 in the noon. Okay, thank you very much.